Hey, it's Abdur Rahman from Tech Systems. In this video, we will discuss about I/O list or input output point list, which is a very important document for BMS design. This document not only provide detail about uh, input output points for different equipment, but it also helps us to build BOQ for the field devices and also helps us to select DDC controllers and I/O modules for different DDC panels inside our project. From start of my career, I always find it frustrating to prepare these I/O lists manually, which means that you have to uh, make DDC sheets for each panel, and then you have to manually enter data inside these DDC sheets for different equipment. Like you can see here, we have multiple equipment in each DDC panel, and it also involves copying and pasting data from one sheet to another sheet. So we have to go through all this hard work while hoping that we didn't make any mistake which can cost us money and time later in the project. During the initial stage of the project, I/O point information is not available for many of the equipment and as a BMS designer you have to assume uh, points for many of this equipment and later on during the construction stage once this information is available then you have to go back to this I/O list and update these points in all these DDC sheets, which is a tedious and a hard job. I always wanted to automate this workflow of iOS creation. So two years back, I decided to start working on a tool so I can automatically create the iOS BOQs and IO summaries. So for past two years, I had been working on this tool and continuously improving. And I was using it in my projects which helped me a lot to save time and make the process more efficient and error-free. I have now decided to make this tool available for other BMS engineers so they can also make their processes efficient, fast and error-free. Let me show you a quick demo of the tool which is a Microsoft Excel add-in and you can directly access it from the ribbon. Here we have the project setup where you can define the project title, you can also select color and font for different cells or rows in the IO sheets. Also, you can include different headers. You have multiple options here and also customized headers can be added from here. There is also an option for IO columns where you can select or unselect uh, multiple columns and also you can add customized columns. And here we have equipment header style customization uh, with the background color and the font color. After finishing all the settings, just click on this button and you will have the two sheets created equipment schedule and equipment IO library. And you have to populate your data inside these two sheets. In the IO library, we have to define uh, equipment templates for each type of equipment. So for example, if you have two types of uh, AHUs in your project, you have to define IO points of these two types only here. And you, you can categorize them by the equipment category and the type. And like this, we can list all different types of equipment and each type of equipment has to be defined here only once. And in the equipment schedule, we have to define information like building number, uh, DDCs which we are going to install, and the equipment tag which will be connected to this DDC, and also the equipment types which we have already defined inside our IO library. After entering data in the equipment schedule and IO library, just you have to hit the generate IO list button and you have an option to select the spare IO percentage. I will go with 15% and it, your all DDC sheets will be created in less than a minute. Here I have DDC sheets for all the DDCs. In this project, I selected eight DDCs and all these sheets are well formatted and you can customize all the colors even header information you can customize here. After creation of all the IO list, we can generate the IO summary for all the DDC panels. And in less than 10 seconds, it created this IO summary with two tables. One is without the spare points and the other table including our 15% spare points. You can use this IO summary for selection of DDC controllers and IO modules for each DDC panel. And then also you can generate BOQ for all the field devices and with the click of a button you will have the consolidated BOQ for your complete project including the pricing information, model numbers, brand if you have included that information inside your uh, device library. If you don't want to include the pricing and model number information and just want to get the quantity, you can unselect these options and you will have only 
the model numbers, description, and quantity of the field devices. Then we have a very important part of the project, which is a field devices library manager here. And this library manager comes with the predefined commonly used field devices uh, where I have already defined tags and descriptions for these field devices. And you can add further information like brand, model number, unit price, and currency. Uh, and you can, mm, you can also add new field devices in this library. You can delete some field devices and even you can export and keep a backup of this uh, device library for later use. This was a quick demo of the tool which I have developed over the past two years. You can click on the link in the description to go to the product page of the tool and purchase that tool from there. The initial price of the tool is $149, but as a thank you to my YouTube community, I am offering a special discount for the launch week of the tool and you can get it at a discounted price. Uh, using the coupon code available in the description. So thank you again to all my YouTube subscribers and I will see you again in a next video.